When we have a look at the future, it's increasingly dominated by artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence companies that want you to use their services over everybody else's. Now, in some examples, basically this is actually fine. However, when it comes to trying to surface the truth, there's an issue because Elon Musk has an issue and because actually there is genuinely an issue. So let's unpack this. Now, around the world, there are only really seven organizations capable of building the multi-billion dollar frontier models that we actually see and increasingly rely on today. So these are organizations like X, uh, Meta, OpenAI, Anthropic, Baidu, Alibaba, uh, as well as Google DeepMind. Now, when we have a look at OpenAI, there are over 200 million people using ChatGPT as their sort of primary artificial intelligence interface into the world. And OpenAI's ChatGPT is quite a liberal artificial intelligence. It's, to use Elon Musk's terms, relatively woke. And Elon Musk doesn't like that. So he obviously created Grok. We've seen Grok 2 coming out recently. And when you actually have a look at a lot of the interviews with Elon Musk, and I've been seeing this trend globally, which is why I'm actually making this little video now. Not only does Elon Musk talk up, talk up the need for AIs to be accurate, but he also wants them to show the world as it really is, which is all fine, we understand that. However, he also wants them to tell the truth. But here's the rub. My truth is different to your truth. Elon Musk's true version of the truth is different to Sam Altman's version of the truth and so on and so forth. So from a societal perspective, this is actually where we get into an ethical and moral dilemma, because just as we saw with Google, if you are accessing an artificial intelligence whose version of the truth is based on right wing, should we say, insights, information, politics, leanings, bias, and so on and so forth, increasingly that will taint your own worldview. And the same goes for left-leaning artificial intelligences. Now, when we have a look around the world, there is not a single organization on the planet that is responsible for ensuring that these AIs actually do tell the truth. So increasingly, we are all going to be led down different wormholes by artificial intelligences that change our worldview, which influence our behaviors and opinions, and change our outlooks on life. So when we talk about the future of artificial intelligence, we are not just talking about which companies will dominate global technology standards, global business environments or use cases or whatever it happens to be. We are quite literally starting to talk about which artificial intelligences will change the way that all of us see not only each other and society as a whole, but the entire world. And without any organizations basically to actually fact check these AIs, without these AIs being regulated, all oh, hell can be let loose. So let me know what you think about this particular little video. Should Elon Musk's artificial intelligence be the single sole arbiter of the truth? Should it be someone else's? Or should we actually have global standards that ensure that we know how biased these models are, where they're getting their information from, how accurate they are and everything else? You know, why not have something along the lines of a health sticker for an artificial intelligence? More on that later. But anyway, that's it. That's me. Over and out. Goodbye.